Hello and welcome to episode number 19 of this latest Bio tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to implement the data structure for the PERC system. Let's go! First of all, we want a new PERC data script in the data folder. This, of course, will be a scriptable object. Therefore, we need the create asset menu attribute at the top. Then we also need a few fields. We need an image, which will basically be the icon of our perk. We also need a perk condition. We have to create a new script for this. The script can be located in the models folder. Per condition will be an abstract class and will have three abstract methods. Per conditions will work in such a way that when the perk is added, the perk subscribe to a game action and whenever this game action is performed, we can then react to it with the perk effect. When we remove the perk, we also want to remove the subscription. For this, we will have to subscribe and unsubscribe method here with the reaction that we want to trigger as parameter. We also will have a bool method, which will allow us to check even deeper if we want to trigger. We maybe don't want to react to each deal damage action, for example, but only to those that have a higher damage than 3. Oh, and we also need a serialized field for the reaction timing, because we want to set if the perk should trigger after a game action or before. Now back in the data, we finish our perk condition field. It will have serialized reference with the SR attribute, so that we can edit it in the inspector. We also will have an auto-target effect, which will be the effect that is triggered when the condition is met. Then we also have two bool fields. One is the used auto-target, which will be initially true. This will just tell our perk to use the auto-target mode from the auto-target effect. And we will also have the use action caster as target boolean, which will be initially false and will allow us to use the caster of the game action we want to react to. Now let's create a first perk condition. I want to create a counterattack perk, so our hero will damage attackers. For this, we need the on enemy attack condition, which will trigger our perk effect every time the enemy attacks. And the subcondition is met, we can return true because we want to react to all attackers here. But you could here further check if the attacker is about a certain health value or stuff like this. In the sub and unsub method, we subscribe and unsubscribe to and from the attack hero game action with the reaction time. And that's it for the condition. We now actually can create the data for the counterattack. In Unity and the data folder, we create a perks folder and create the counterattack there. We set it up with an image. We also select our condition and set the timing to post. And as the effect, we can select the deal damage effect. We also disable use auto target and enable action caster as target. In this case, the action caster will be the attacker. So we will use the attacker as our target. Great, we have the perk data now. In the next episode, we are going to create perk model and the perk system. We will also change a few game actions so that they know about their caster. I hope you have enjoyed this episode.
Thank you for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.